en quoi tu The president, please be seated. On ne The court is now back in session. L'audience est reprise. We would like to now hand over to counsel La Chambre for Mr. Ying Sari to proceed with their questions Yang Sari to the witness. You may now proceed, counsel. Vous avez la parole. Mr. President, could I have two minutes of your time? Monsieur le Président, pourrais-je prendre deux minutes de votre temps? The President, le président. no, you are not allowed. Counsel for Ying Sari, you may la now proceed. La parole est à la Ying Sari. The President, Council for Nunchia, if you would like to be heard, you would ask, be asked to write uh, your application in writing and have it submitted to the Chamber. Par écrit et la présenter à la Chambre de par ce moyen. The President continues. You are not allow to have the floor Vous now pas because la the time allocated to you had already been used up and that if you would coulé. wish to address the chamber you are asked to make it in writing. Vous pouvez présenter par écrit ce que vous souhaitez dire à la chambre maintenant. Council Angadam. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Bon good afternoon, Monsieur Your Honours. And good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Now we shall continue our questions. Nous allons poursuivre votre interrogatoire. Before we broke, I referred to your statement in which you indicated. Uh, Ce matin, you referred to the à votre dans laquelle... upper level or upper echelon decisions Vous la, and les the arrests de of diplomats. My next question will be. Diplomates. What kind of information that vous poser you obtained genuinely to believe that uh, the senior leaders attended Quel meetings? Qui vous what fait kind of que information des à des you obtained to prove this? Sur quel type d'information fondez-vous cette supposition? Some Response. Réponse. I haven't received any actual information on this. Je n'ai reçu aucun renseignement concret à ce sujet. Question. Question. Have you received any actual information? Concerning the communication between the senior leaders, concrètes concernant les communications who, entre les hauts uh, to, to dirigeants, prove that uh, you know people who attended uh, such meetings, des renseignements qui prouveraient que ces personnes aient participé à des réunions. Response. Réponse. My response would be the same. I don't know. I don't know. In the framework of the leadership, I have no idea who attended which meeting. Les dirigeants, je ne sais pas qui a participé à des réunions. Response. Question. In your statement, you say that you learned about this information based on your 
job performance. Dans so, votre déclaration, vous dites que practice, vous avez obtenu could you ces tell the court, in the course travail? of your work, whether you're oui, familiar with any si. items of the agenda of the meetings? Justement, dans le cadre de vos activités the president, uh, à witness, you are not instructed uh, to respond to uh, this question because uh, you indicated clearly jour, that you had no knowledge of the meetings. How could you understand the items of the agenda of their meetings? Comment pourriez-vous savoir quoi que ce soit par rapport à l'ordre du jour de ces réunions? Council Angudam, thank you, Mr. President. Maître Angudam. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Chang Banaita look mean for me and a question. Did you happen to obtain the direct information concerning any of the meetings where the senior leaders could have made decisions? Directement qui portait sur le lieu où se tenaient ces réunions auxquelles participeraient des dix hauts dirigeants. Réponse. Response. The decisions and the meetings and the procedures in these les décisions meetings et les réunions have already been well et le testified de in my statement previously and I don't know anything about this because it is the work of the senior leaders. Council Angadam, I have no further questions to put to uh, you, Mr. Witness. I thank you, the Chamber, for this, and I would like uh, to wish you all the best. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Mr. President. The President, uh, thank you. We would like now to proceed to councils for Mr. Kilsampon. Council mic is activated, but the interpreter cannot hear anything. Il n'attend pas que les micros sont allumés, mais que le son ne parvient pas. The president, uh, council, you may start uh, your question. A remark uh, again because uh, Veuillez, uh, previously uh, your statement was not heard. Council, thank you, Mr. Merci, President, Monsieur and good afternoon, Mr. Nikon. Bon I Monsieur am Kung Som On, representing Kyu Som Pon. I have a few questions to put to you concerning your testimonies before this chamber. Votre First chambre. of all, may I know whether you have used any other names si other than Nikon. Vous avez d'autres noms à part Nikon. Some try. Response. I have three names. J'ai trois noms. Con. 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 Sat. Et Sat. As some awkward question. Question. Could you spell Kun and Sat oui, oui, in Khmer, en Khmer to us, Kun please? Et sat. Bon, bon, bon. Response, yes, I can. Réponse, oui. Khan is spelled K-A-N. K-A-N. Khan. K-I-N. 
Sath. Council, thank you. Question. Have you used uh, the other names you just indicated before the chamber more frequently? Have you used the plus frequently ces noms que vous venez de nous appeler? Tu m'as frappé, tu as que respond. The name I used uh, more frequently uh, were Khan and Khan. Question. Question. What about Sat? Um, do people know you by the name of Sat? Response. Réponse. Yes, they do, oui. but uh, only a few people uh, know this. Personnes. Question. Have you ever Question. signed on any official documents déjà signé with uh, des documents other names other than Khan and Kun? Des noms autres que Khan et Kun. Response. No, non. I haven't uh, used any other names on the paper other than Khan. Je n'ai pas signé de documents à part par d'autres noms que Khan. Question. You reiterated time again during the Question. testimony before this chamber concerning the principle of secrecy during the democratic Cambodia's regime. Du secret sous le Cambodia Can you confirm who, what kind of education you were given in order for you to maintain this secrecy. Quelle formation vous avez reçue pour garantir que vous gardiez le secret? Response. Could you repeat Réponse. the question? Vous répétez votre question. Question. Concerning this secrecy, propos du secret, we would like you to Tell us what kind of study session or education you received to keep such secret. Où l'on vous aurait enseigné à garder le secret. Some response. Sorry. Kanonka, the tool. We received instructions and education on how to maintain secrecy. Nous avons reçu des formations and uh, we would uh, be de le instructed to keep the secret. Et the secret here refers to internal affairs. Le secret any bien sûr la confidentialité issues des affaires concerning the work, internal work, and that each Tout level of interne, responsibility had to understand any certain échelon level of secrecy. So people at different levels would be secret. expected to Donc, understand and to keep the secrecy at each respective level. And we have had uh, several slogans on this, and I do not recollect uh, them well. Uh, but I remember sujet, the one slogan bien. very well, slogan which is qui est comme suit. We only mind our own business. Il ne faut so que we know de our affaires. work. And we are not supposed to know Donc, somebody's work. And we should not des des um, be envisaged to want to know others' business. Il ne pas That's the part of the slogan used at that time and the slogan, slogan that I remember very well. And this is part of the instruction we were given. Having de... received such instructions, I imparted uh, them to the people tour, who, who were concerned during the course of my work according to this hierarchy. Dans le de cette Council, thank you.
question. In case someone failed to maintain the secrecy, what would happen to them? Trahissez le secret. Que leur arrive-t-il? Kemian response. There was a procedure called uh, in which uh, people would be criticized in the self-criticism session. People had to criticize themselves to see whether they could maintain the secrecy very well or not. This, this is part of the qualification of each individual. And in the session, people would be criticized and um, refresh uh, and advised not to commit the same wrong doing if they know uh, they, if they had done so. Question. What about yourself? Question. During the Demo democratic Cambodia regime, Et vous? to what extent had you maintained the secrecy? Pouvez-vous nous dire si vous avez réussi à garder les secrets et dans quelle mesure? Response. Réponse. I just followed instructions. I was self-conscious and I understood that I understood what would be the right things, what would be the wrong things and I had to follow these principles. Council. Thank you. In the course of your work, Question. had you ever abused Dans le cadre de votre the travail, principle of confidentiality déjà or secrecy le de in the regime? Sous le regime? Response. As I remember, Réponse. I have never abused de this principle. Je n'ai jamais violé le principe. Basom Okun, Council, thank you. Maître Councilman, je vous remercie. I have another question concerning question the document uh, presented to you already during the course of the testimony, document D91-21. Page number three. With Mr. President's leave, I would like uh, the document to be put up on the screen, please. The President, you may proceed. This document is under ERN in Khmer 00204129. French ERN 00525252. In English 00222. 3626. Council, Mr. Witness, do you see the document? Now. Monsieur le témoin, voyez-vous le document?
Look at an pizza. Could you read Khmer text? Pourriez-vous lire le passage en Khmer? If you can read the text from the screen, please do so for us. If not, I may present the hard copy of the document to you so that you can read it from there. Capable de lire ce qui est à l'écran, sinon j'ai une copie papier que je Response. I can indeed read from the screen. J'arrive à lire sur l'écran. I would like to refer to My apologies, Mr. President. My computer was not connected to the system to be able for me to read the portion of the text. I now update the text. And I would like to refer to the portion on the bottom of the page. Uh, the final question, the, 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 the final paragraph, indeed. Uh, you can see the fourth line, um, which starts with NK. I would like to read from the text as follows. You said, I know Ian Sari clearly. As for Kiel Somphon, Ian Tirut and Noon Chia, I know them too because they were the upper echelon. Could you explain to us what are you referring to when you say upper echelon? Some response. I may wish to explain. This as follows. Oui, Upper echelon is the spoken language. Du vernacular. In the spoken language, we at one point say upper echelon. On parlait, on, at, at, on at another, uh, on another occasion, we say the upper on level. So they refer supérieur. to the leaders et cela fait référence senior leaders aux dirigeants aux hauts dirigeants council thank you maître councilman je vous remercie what was the relationship between the upper echelon to your work your position or was there y avait -il no une communication at all relation quelconque ou un lien entre les chefs supérieurs et vous et votre travail ou n'y avait-il aucune upper communication echelon or level that I uh, stated in my interview in referring to the audition, general upper level of leadership. Ici référence aux dirigeants. The, 
there are other upper level people as well in each uh, section but it depends Do on the languages they use uh, for me i refer upper echelon to the supreme langage qu'ils employaient quand ici je parle des échelons supérieurs je parlais de l'échelon suprême council so question is it fair to say that this upper echelon had nothing to do with the, the supervision que cet échelon uh, of your unit is that correct rien à voir avec la supervision directe de votre unité response I may wish uh, to emphasize, perhaps I didn't make myself clear, être précis, upper je pas echelon être here refer to those individuals whose name appeared in my statement. Euh, dont le nom est cité dans ma déclaration. Council, thank you. Maître Councilman, je vous remercie. Do you know Mr. Skilsompon personally during the democratic Cambodia regime? And rather, did you know him in, uh, personally during the regime and also at a later date? Pendant le régime et après. Response. I never known him personally. I know him in my in the capacity as uh, he was uh, the leader who attended je a ceremony or an event uh, je where I also went to, but we, had, uh, we have had not been very close. Mais nous pas Rest, uh, question. Proche. Had you ever received any instructions Question. or orders mm -hmm. from Mr. Kyosun Pan during the democratic Kampuchea? Vous a-t-il déjà donné des ordres ou des instructions pendant la période du Kampuchea Response. Democratic? No, Réponse. I hadn't received non. any direct orders uh, from him because uh, our task was different. I worked Car in the framework of the ministry, so I would receive orders or instructions from the ministry only. I would like to ask you for a clarification on the record of interview of the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, document B91-22, on page 2, your N in Khmer 00-204132. I would like to seek leave from the chamber uh, to have this document put up on the screen. The President, assistant, please uh, make sure that the document is put up on the screen. Mm, Council, Mr. Nikon, can you look Monsieur at the Nikon. screen, the line which we have underlined? Can you refer to the line which is underlined on the screen? 
จำนวนตรงนี้ลูกเมทูวีรบลูกอิงสุริ On this particular portion of the interview, counsel for i n s e r i asked relevant question on this uh, portion. So I would like to ask you for uh, clarification on this part. Can you read uh, out to the court this portion of the interview? Response. I would like to read it out, and if I did not read out exactly the portion you expected, I apologize. The removal of the diplomat was decided by the upper echelon, and upper echelon consists of p o l p o t Alias Ta Pol Nunchia, Alias Ta Nun, Yung Seri, Alias Ta Wan, and Q Sampon. I never met those leaders. Bang Som Okun, Counsel, thank you. La Defense, je vous remercie. Actually, I also. Wanted you to read a sentence preceding that portion, which includes the arrest of those diplomats. But you did not have to read it out again because I have already mentioned it. On this particular point, it concerns. The decision of the upper echelon, according to your previous Ici, testimony, you said you did not take part in the decision, de and neither did you receive any report or instruction by the upper echelon. This was. According to your statement earlier, to the question put by counsel for Yang Sari, so my question is. What was the basis for your answer that the decision was made by those who were in the upper echelon? Répondant ainsi que la décision relevait de l'échelon supérieur, sur quoi vous basez-vous? Response. Réponse. The basis upon which you insist that I present is that. It was based on the common practice. Ma réponse est basée sur le fait qu'il s'agissait d'une pratique fréquente. First, concerning the arrest of diplomats of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, allow me to put it into picture. When I first arrived in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Lorsque je suis arrivé, the organizational structure was there already, Il y avait and une I was an individual who was transferred and attached to a department. Probably I was on a, a you know, suspension from work, uh, and I was uh, simply placed in part, that uh, position. Uh, because the structure already existed and operational. Secondly, when I arrived in MFA, ensuite, lorsque je suis arrivé au ministère, I did not know those individuals, diplomats who were arrested, and it was only when the Office of Co-Investigating Judges. 
asked me, then I said I did not know about the decision. And simply because I did not know, I could not simply say I know, I, I know it. And I testified earlier on this morning that the decision at the political level was considered internal matters of the party, and it was the decision of the leader. And I did not even know the date of the meetings. And if you dwell on the subject matter or even the items of the agendas of the meeting, I did not even know. And if you ask me for the basis for my uh, answer, I simply say that I could uh, provide that answer based on the common practice. Council. So to sum up what you have just said, uh, the based on your general understanding of the circumstance at that time, uh, the decision must have been made by those who were in the upper echelon. Is that correct to say so? Cette décision devait forcément être prise par les membres de l'échelon supérieur. Est-ce que c'est correct? Yes, that was according to uh, it was according to my knowledge. Oui, à ma connaissance, so. c'est exact. Jumpo. Council. La Défense. You describe a uh, few members of those who were in the leadership. Did you know that these leaders work um, together, or you did not know their working arrangement at all? Some try. Response. No, I didn't know. Réponse. Non, je ne le savais pas. Council, thank you. La Défense, merci. So I take uh, it that your statement to the Office of Co-Investigating Judges in the document Donc, I just mentioned was your mere speculation. Is that correct? Est-ce que c'est exact? The President. Le président. The International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Le Co-Procureur international, vous avez la parole. Monsieur le Président, nous nous trouvons dans la même situation que tout à l'heure lorsque le Conseil national de l'accusé Yang Sari avait posé la même question pour arriver à la même conclusion qu'il souhaitait faire dire aux témoins, c'est une question orientée. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bon, l'objection de prosecution est sustained. L'objection de l'accusation est retenue. The witness need not to answer the last question posed by the defense counsel because it is leading. Counsel, thank you, Mr. President. That is all for me. The President. International President, Council for Kyusampon, you may proceed. Thank you very much, Mr. President. 
Bonjour d'abord, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs de la Chambre. Bonjour à l'ensemble des partis et bonjour Monsieur le Témoin. Je m'appelle Antaguissé et je suis un des co-avocats internationaux de Monsieur Kiosampan et c'est à ce titre que je vais vous poser les dernières questions de cet après-midi. Je voudrais euh, vous rappeler que nous euh, sommes interprétés. S'il y avait une quelconque difficulté dans la compréhension de mes questions, n'hésitez pas à me demander de clarifier. Je voudrais faire un, tout d'abord un, un petit retour en arrière sur votre parcours. Quelle était la profession de vos parents What was the profession or trade of your parents? Some clarity. Response. Réponse. My parents' occupation was farmer. Mes parents étaient des agriculteurs. They did farming. C'était des fermiers. For, uh, for the living. Et vous diriez, monsieur le témoin, que c'était des fermiers de quelles conditions C'était des gens qui étaient propriétaires de leurs terres ou c'était des fermiers d'origine plutôt modeste Or were they modest farmers of modest means Response. My Réponse. parents were the middle class person. We had uh, two pairs of cattle and we had uh, we owned a few farm lands ourselves. But I cannot recall them all. Je ne me souviens pas de tous ces terres. Vous avez indiqué que, à l'âge de 15 ans, vous êtes 15, parti pour uh, étudier à Phnom Penh. Est-ce que vous avez vécu en compagnie uh, de vos parents dans le milieu paysan jusqu'à jusqu l'âge de 15 ans C'est ce que je dois comprendre Réponse. Réponse. After I left my parents, I came to Après live with my brother, my parents, other brother je suis by the name of Lee Chung. Frère, He was also a teacher back then. À l'époque, il était également enseignant. Vous avez indiqué lors de votre déposition que vous avez été enseignant à Siem Reap. À quels enfants enseignez-vous Je veux dire, de quel milieu était-il Answer the question because le this question is not relevant. Monsieur le Président, cette question est pertinente. Hein. Je m'explique. Dans le cadre de ces interrogatoires, je ne peux pas poser de questions directives. Donc il faut bien que je pose le chemin hein, de mes questions pour arriver au point qui m'intéresse et je demande à la Chambre un petit peu de patience pour comprendre pourquoi je pose cette ligne de questionnement. Refrain from 
asking irrelevant questions or repetitive questions or questions that, is, that uh, elicit assumption or conclusion or subjective assumption of the witness. Très bien, Monsieur le Président, je passe à un autre point de mon interrogatoire. Pendant toute la période où vous étiez dans ce milieu paysan, à Siemrep, et avant de rejoindre formellement la Révolution en 70, avez-vous assisté à des bombardements dans la région Response. Immediately after the coup d'état, the bombardment après le coup did not occur in the countryside. But when the war broke out and it was widespread, then there was aerial bombardment. À ce moment-là, il y avait des bombardements aériens. And of course, the bombardments were from somewhere around Kumpung Tom province all the way to Siem Reap. And normally, the bombardment targeted bridges. Et M. Nikan, dans votre travail de propagande et de sensibilisation de la population dans la région, dans le cadre des discussions que vous aviez avec la population, est-ce que ces bombardements ont joué un rôle dans la mobilisation pour rejoindre le front It was my personal Réponse. witness. The bombardments that killed people, destroyed people's property, disignited. the masses to join the movement, the Et popular movement. Et cela a incité les masses à rejoindre le mouvement populaire. Au cours de votre déposition, vous avez indiqué qu'une partie de votre travail de propagande consistait à donner des conseils en matière d'agriculture, à parler on farming issues de l'unité du pays, de l'autosuffisance et de l'amélioration des conditions de vie. Première question, de votre expérience, comment ce discours était-il reçu par la population Could you please uh, repeat your question? Réponse. I didn't quite catch it. Vous la question? Je pas très bien compris. Je vais simplifier, Monsieur le témoin. Je vous prie de m'excuser. I beg your pardon, Mr. Witness. I'll simplify my question. Lors de votre déposition devant cette chambre, vous avez indiqué que votre travail de propagande auprès de la population comportait plusieurs sujets. Vous avez indiqué d'une part qu'il y avait un travail sur les discussions sur la manière de 
produire et sur l'agriculture. Vous avez également indiqué que vous sensibilisiez sur l'unité du pays, l'autosuffisance et de façon générale l'amélioration des conditions de vie. Ma question est donc la suivante, ma première question. De votre expérience, comment ce discours était reçu par la population à laquelle il s'adressait Réponse. First, I would like to highlight that I did not say about national unity. I did not say that in my testimony earlier, but I did say that we had to uphold the self-sufficiency. Nous devions maintenir l'autosuffisance. Secondly, deuxièmement, the propaganda we spread to the people at that time was to encourage people to cultivate rice, to plant potatoes and other secondary vegetation, and that was to improve production. However, the yield was not sufficient Cependant, because the place where we spread propaganda was that people had to cultivate rice and crops in order to feed themselves, and in addition to that, they had to provide supply to support uh, uh, soldiers uh, in the battlefields as well. Sur les champs de bataille. Vous avez évoqué à plusieurs reprises, notamment en répondant aux questions d'un des avocats des parties civiles, que les rendements étaient insuffisants. Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer à la Chambre la raison euh, de ces mauvais rendements au niveau de la région que vous connaissez particularly in the region that you are, that you were familiar with. Some try response. Response. The harvest yield to put in uh, the harvest deal was not actually calculated or summed up. It, so it was based on the actual chiffre. harvest, but there was no specific figure attached to it. But what I saw at that time was that the harvest was not sufficient to feed the people at that place. La récolte ne suffisait pas à nourrir des gens à cet endroit-là. Ma question se voulait un petit peu plus précise. Je voulais savoir si c'était en raison de l'état des terres qui étaient cultivées ou en raison d'autres phénomènes. Response. Response. Poor harvest was resulted from, of course, the condition of Les land because étaient, bien sûr, in certain parts of the arable land were less fertile Certaines and the other parts of the arable land 
lakes of water supply. Et And in addition, people arabes, do. did not have de plus, agricultural techniques, for example, les gens ne uh, farmers pas les did not have knowledge how to make their exemple, land fertile and how to uh, administer fertilizer uh, to the field. And in addition to that, there was a big Par ailleurs, disproportion Proportionate division of harvest. On the one hand, they had to feed uh, themselves. On the other hand, they had to supply to the uh, soldiers. That's why it was the basis of my answer to the question earlier that I witnessed that the harvest was not sufficient to feed the people there. Est-ce que, dans ces conditions, il est correct de dire que la situation était d'autant plus difficile que nous étions en temps de guerre Response. Réponse. I can add that it was partly related to the state of war as well, because we had to have supply for those who went to war. Nous étions en temps de guerre, car nous devrions euh, ravitailler les troupes. Je passe maintenant, monsieur le témoin, à un autre point. Vous avez indiqué que pendant la période de 70 à 75, vous étiez dans le maquis. Vous avez indiqué également que vous étiez amené à vous déplacer souvent pour des raisons de sécurité. Ma question est la suivante. En quoi ces déplacements fréquents permettaient d'assurer la sécurité. Response. The term security I refer to here is rather broad. Que j'ai utilisé le mot And I sécurité, perhaps, je l'ai utilisé um, de manière talked about it too briefly in a narrow générale. sense. Uh, security at that time was referring to the bombardments of de sécurité, the aerial bombardments. On faisait référence aux bombardements aériens. And also it related to the people who could perceived to be spies. Cela aussi faisait référence à la possibilité de la présence d'espions. So people had to um, be very careful and not to remain in one place. Il fallait donc faire très long, attention et ne pas rester trop they would longtemps be au même endroit. Bombed. Sinon, and uh, I think uh, for that reason, security here is referring to how we move places to avoid being attacked or spied on. C'est éviter les bombardements ou éviter d'être espionné. Répondant à une question du coprocureur international, je ne sais plus si c'était hier ou avant. Vous avez précisément évoqué les bombardements aériens. Et, Monsieur le coprocureur, vous a fait remarquer que en 1973, il n'y avait plus de bombardements américains. Ma question est la suivante. Est-ce que vous savez si les troupes de l'ONNOL avaient une aviation militaire 
had their own air force. Response. Response. The opponents in the fightings were the Lonnal troops and the dans cette lutte étaient les soldats Only de two sides, the Lonnal and the front troops. Lonnal was backed du front et by les soldats de Lonnal. Americans. Lonnal était appuyé so par les Américains. So there must have been bombers, there must be planes to um, support uh, the Lonnal people with bombs. On a dû fournir à l'ONOL des I don't bombes know à être larguées. The exact, uh, of this Mais je ne connais pas any unit they to. tous les détails. Je ne sais pas à quelle unité uh, ces bombardiers appartenaient. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Je voudrais passer maintenant à une autre ligne de questionnement. Let's switch to another line of questioning. Vous avez évoqué au cours de ces derniers jours, les différents postes que vous avez occupés, d'abord pendant la Révolution, puis ensuite dans le cadre du Kampuchea démocratique. Si j'ai bien compris, vous avez d'abord été enseignant, puis chargé de propagande pendant plusieurs années, et enfin, vous avez travaillé au sein du ministère des Affaires étrangères au service du protocole. Est-ce que je résume bien ainsi les postes que vous avez occupés finished a junior high school que obtenu mon and I started working as a primary school teacher. I was not a lecturer or professor. À primaire, donc je pas and at the primary school I taught pupils or young students. À de jeunes and uh, des I perhaps cannot respond to the second question of yours Et because it's long but I have already made it clear concerning my position I held during the time I was a propagandist I was much needed at that time On avait besoin de mes and services à normally as a teacher he or she would be able to Normalement, speak convincingly so that people could listen to et donc him or her. And I had remained a propagandist all along. Et je suis and later on, I did end up being tout ce temps, je suis resté a person attached de to the protocol service. Et ensuite, j'ai été rattaché au service du protocole. Je vous remercie de ces précisions, Monsieur Nikan. Est-il correct de dire qu'en dehors des postes que vous avez occupés, vous n'avez occupé aucun autre poste au sein du Kampuchea démocratique appointed in the propaganda and education section and as I indicated I was much needed in that section they needed people who were capable of doing the propaganda service and this doesn't mean that I had to do the propaganda 
service all across the country. I was confined to the section that I was much needed for. J'ai travaillé dans la section, dans le service qui avait besoin de moi. J'ai bien compris, monsieur le témoin. Yes, I understood Ma question, that, plus précisément, était But de bien confirmer qu'en dehors de ce que vous nous avez décrit, vous n'avez occupé aucun autre poste au sein du Kampuchea démocratique. Uh, response. Réponse. I think my response will be the same. I Ma réponse est la held même. the same position uh, uh, on the education committee. Le même poste au sein and du comité d'éducation. When I was transferred uh, to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I had uh, been uh, assigned to the new position in the protocol service section. Au sein du service du protocol. Monsieur le Président, je vois qu'il est 3h moins 20. Je n'en ai plus pour très longtemps. Est-ce que vous m'autorisez à dépasser légèrement l'heure habituelle de la pause pour terminer cet interrogatoire more questions to ask, and I want to know if you'll authorize me to go beyond the standard time for breaking to continue with my cross The President Council, could you advise the Chamber how much time would you need to put questions to this witness? Five minutes, Mr. President. Five minutes, Mr. President. The President, the President, then you may proceed oui, until you have finished oui, putting your questions. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Monsieur le témoin, la raison pour laquelle je Mr. vous ai fait confirmer les différents postes que vous avez occupés, c'était pour être sûr que vous n'avez jamais occupé de fonction au sein d'un service de communication au sein du Kampuchea démocratique. Est-ce que c'est correct de dire que vous n'avez jamais travaillé au sein d'un service de communication Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que cette question n'est pas très claire. Que veut dire la défense par un service de communication Monsieur le témoin dit qu'il a travaillé plusieurs années au sein de la propagande et de l'éducation, ce qui comporte certainement un volet de communication, à mon avis. Donc, est-ce que cette question pourrait être reformulée ou reprécisée euh, de manière à ce qu'on la comprenne davantage Merci. Il n'y a pas de problème, Monsieur le Président, je vais repréciser. Monsieur le témoin, avez-vous jamais travaillé dans un service chargé d'envoyer des télégrammes Response. Réponse. At that time, different sector would uh, communicate with one another through telegrams, but it was not part of my duty. I had to only communicate uh, with uh, people Moi, concerned uh, through letters. Letters would only be written when they were necessary. And uh, the handwriting of uh, my handwriting of the uh, notes uh, would then be typed. And I have no idea uh, what they uh, did with the typing because it was part of uh, people who had the expertise in uh, dealing with the typing of the letters. Il est donc correct, monsieur le témoin, de dire 
que vous ne savez pas dans quelles conditions étaient envoyés ni reçus les télégrammes au bureau 870. The President, uh, international court prosecutor, you may now proceed and witness is instructed uh, to hold on. Monsieur le Président, on passe d'une question President, assez générale sur les télégrammes qui pouvaient, on n'a pas très bien compris si c'était dans la zone ouest, en tout cas la réponse qui a été donnée concernait, il me semble, la zone ouest, euh, peut-être concernait-elle aussi le ministère des Affaires étrangères, je n'en suis pas sûr. Et on arrive à une question qui parle manifestement, euh, qui fait référence à un télégramme dont on a parlé hier, qui a trait au ministère des Affaires étrangères et qui parle de, du bureau 870. Il me semble qu'entre ces deux questions, il y aurait probablement besoin d'avoir plusieurs questions intermédiaires pour arriver à cette question précise sur le bureau 870, ou en tout cas faire préciser aux témoins quel, de quelle période il s'agissait quand il a parlé de l'envoi de télégrammes entre les secteurs. Là, je pense que c'est bien la zone ouest. Donc, je suis un peu perdu dans, dans ces questions, de savoir de quel moment on parle, etc. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais préciser la question pour uh, clarifier. Monsieur le témoin, est-ce que vous savez dans quelles conditions étaient envoyés les télégrammes lorsque vous travaillez dans la zone ouest Response. Réponse. So far, as I remember, the people who were authorized to deal with the telegrams were those at the zone level, not at the sector or district, let alone commune level. The short letters would be sent les instead lettres. of the telegrams, and whatever the zone would deal with the telegrams, it was up to them. Qui des Je comprends de votre réponse que vous ne saviez donc pas comment étaient envoyés les télégrammes. C'est bien ça. Response. Yes, it is correct to say so. My statement already reflects this um, response. The lower level people would write letters and the letters would then be sent to upper level and another upper level would handle them respectively. Et le dernier point pour être précis, est-ce que vous saviez comment étaient envoyés les télégrammes lorsque vous travaillez au ministère des Affaires étrangères The question you put to me concerns the geography and uh, the geographic location and the practical work uh, condition at the ministry. Normally, telegrams would only be sent uh, to people in a long distance if people had to communicate. Uh, in the close proximity, si uh, for example, uh, in the closer location, then they would not uh, use a telegram. On utilisait, on pas de telegram. Et 
ma dernière question pour être extrêmement claire et précise. Est-ce que parmi vos attributions au sein du ministère des Affaires étrangères, l'envoi de télégrammes en faisait partie Response. No, I had nothing to do with this. Je n'avais absolument rien à voir avec les télégrammes. Je vous remercie de vos réponses, Monsieur le Thank témoin. Je vous remercie également de votre patience. Et je n'ai plus d'autres questions, well. Monsieur le Président. No questions, Mr. President. President, thank you, Merci. Council. Mr. Saikolwati, you are now instructed Madame to Lefier. advise the Chamber concerning the reserved uh, reserve witness. The Chamber vous vous wishes uh, to hear whether he or she is present. Sur la présence de l'autre témoin. Saikolwati, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. Witness TCW583 is ready to be called et présent and witness et has already confirmed that uh, Alors, the, de plutôt. Et le témoin the witness has no relationship with any parties to the proceedings or to the accused person and uh, oath has already been observed et by le the witness before the devant. Iron Lord uh, Star. The President, uh, thank you, Mr. Saikolvati. And uh, thank you, Mr. Witness, uh, Mr. Nikon. Indeed, uh, we appreciate uh, your time. You have been responding to several questions put to you during the last few days, and your testimony sessions have already come to an voilà. end. The Chamber has no further questions to put to you. You are now dismissed. You may Vous now feel remercié. free to be returned to your Vous pouvez donc residence. Retourner chez vous. And court officer is now instructed to assist a witness with his travel, and the Chamber wishes uh, the witness uh, déplacement. the safe trip home. Nous vous bon voyage, the Chamber would like uh, to inform the public rather the parties to the proceeding that uh, after the break après la pause, the Chamber is going to hear the testimonies of TCW583. The floor will be handed over firstly to the la prosecution before we proceed to other parties. The chamber will adjourn uh, for 20 minutes. The, pause de 20 the minutes. next session will be resumed Les by 10 past 3.